bless your holy name, O oh Lord. We bless your holy name. Just lift up your name, O oh Lord. before Thanksgiving here in, in the United States and we do thank you. We thank you that you are raising up your army. You are sounding the trumpets. You are speaking to the prophets and the prophetic voices are speaking. You are moving in the hearts of people now and we know that we've entered into a new time, Lord. And Lord, you've sent your Holy Spirit to equip us and teach us in all these things. And we say, Lord, you be high and lifted up. So we say, Happy Thanksgiving. We give thanks that the Lord has not forsaken us. He has not forsaken us, nor forsaken the nations, because these nations, these kingdoms, He is the governor of them all. And when that final trumpet sounds, all these kingdoms will be of the kingdoms of our Lord and of His Christ. So we just thank you for righteousness rising. We just give you praise, Lord. And we say, You are high and lifted up going to bless you for a little while. Then Elva's going to share. Yes, I'm so glad you're here, Elva. Oh, thank you. Oh, my beautiful <laughs> wife. She has an awesome word of encouragement. <laughs> As we all go through changes, and we are going through some changes, but we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, because we do not lean on our own understanding. We trust in you. So we just want to lift up a sound of praise. Let's give him a praise. So Talk of your power. 
your mighty acts and glorious majesty of your kingdom your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and your dominion endureth throughout all generations yes your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom no kingdom even one that tries to rise up against it will ever be more powerful will ever overtake your kingdom oh God for your kingdom is everlasting and we will speak of the glorious majesty of your kingdom and proclaim it to the generations we are rising up in boldness in the earth and though they will try to silence us we open our mouths and give you praise and decree your mighty acts We shall bless thee, O Lord, and speak of the glory of your kingdom, and talk of your power, your glorious power. And we will make known. and saying no to what is trying to happen in the earth. For you have given the children of men the earth. And we're saying no to this injustice, unrighteousness. And we say righteousness rise. We even hear, we hear nations beginning to roar. Yes. Oh, 
Thank you, Father. We bless your holy name. We are truly in some interesting days, to say the least. As I rearrange myself here. There is a war coming. There is a war that is we are already engaged in. And those that have been around us know that I've been saying from things I've been involved in, that we've been at war for some time. It's now come to the surface we are now engaged this war this world war is not nation against nation it's it's the forces of evil against good so yes it is it's against the holy nation Psalm 2 says why did the nations rage why do the people imagine a vain thing their kings and their rulers, those that lead, they come together, they make a scheme together. The Lord will have them in derision. And he who sits in the heavens laughs. But there is a mighty roar that is beginning to rise up out of the people of God, decreeing his word. They're hearing the sound of the trumpet like they did in Joel 2, chapter 2, where that trumpet sound was coming off of Zion. Well, it is coming off of Zion. Mount Zion, the heavenly Jerusalem, the place that we've come to. And that sound of that trumpet calls us not to worship. It calls us to alert that there's a coming attack. There's a coming darkness. But here's where we rejoice. Chapter 2, verse 11, it says, But the Lord utters his voice before his army. And what is happening is that it's causing us to realize that we've been passive. We have taken on ideas and ideations that were never meant to be. We were to stand strong and keep hold of our possessions in the kingdom. And so now we've come to this place where he's changing our mindsets and he's waking us up. We still love and we still cry out mercy. <laughs> what we say, we say first that your kingdom come on the earth as it is in the heavens. And so, Lord, you are changing our mindsets these days. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so, <laughs> there's passages in Psalm 83. And I encourage you to look at Psalm 83 and the passage that's in there. And incorporate it into your study and make decrees of it. Because it does talk of evil and leaders. And those that are devising plans. But the Lord, our refuge, empowers us. And in Him, we shall do valiantly. In Him, we shall leap over a wall. We shall run through a troop. And we will not be afraid. Let righteousness arise. We hear that sound, O oh God. And we let the roar of the nations. We let that roar. Let it be in your spirit. And we hear that trumpet.
God, we do bless you. We do bless you. So I say to you, arise. Jesus said, fear not, little flock. It's your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. We will prevail. He will prevail. And he will not leave us nor forsake us. And I say this, believe the truth. His word, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. And the life. <laughs> Believe him the truth because man's heart is deceitful above all, and the lies that are coming out cannot, they are not truth. But the word of the Lord is truth. And we say, let that be. I could go on, but I really want to get to the place, I need to get to the place where I let Elvis share what's in her heart. Because we are in a time where <laughs> we there's others before us that have faced this time. But the time we are in right now really is crucial that we go ahead and let go of some old things. He He's still on the throne. He's still the Lord. We are still royal priests, a chosen generation, and a holy nation. And it's rising up. And before we get to her, I want to just tell you that on... On October, uh, October, December fourth, a week from t a week from Friday, that we are gathering. The nations are gathering right here, right where you're watching from. Some can join via YouTube or Zoom, and we truly come together and decree and make. We lift up a shout, a sound unto God in intercession, and we say, "What is that for?" Because God goes up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of the trumpet. And as we begin to identify and release decrees that we are a holy nation rising up, regardless, already more than 15 nations are involved. It's probably be more like 20, but I haven't checked. But as we come together and we lift up, yes, we come from different lands and different tribes, but we're the same holy nation in the same body, one mind, one spirit. And as we stand in agreement, it empowers us. As we lift up a shout of one sound, it literally empowers us and wakens the Holy Spirit. And the Spirit witnesses to us that we are truly the royalty of God. And we are truly, truly His children in the household of God and truly of His holy nation. But we need to be pliable. I invite you on December 4th, Eastern Time here in the United States is 8 a.m. in the morning is the first session and 8 p.m. in the <laughs> second session. For many of you that are in Europe and Africa and even in Asia, that the second session would be your morning on Saturday morning. I'm going to play... Let me play, give you a little information about it. Set your hearts for this, what we're talking about now. And begin to prepare that there is a holy roar. There is a roar that's taking place, and prophets now are talking about it. That coming out of the body of Christ, it is a unifying agreement. And when we come into agreement, there is nothing more powerful than when the body of Christ agrees. Because when two or more agree on anything, touching any one thing, our Father in heaven does it. That's how it's legislated into the earth. When we lift up a roar and God goes up with a shout and we say no, it is legislated from the highest of nations, from the highest places, from the highest capital there is, which is Mount Zion, the heavenly Jerusalem where we've come to and I say this to you prepare your heart make your plans join it wherever you are and make that joyful sound praise you father we bless your holy name we'll be right back
go ahead and make note of your time. It's exciting the time we're in. We are definitely being shifted. But right now I wanna I wanna shift gears. <laughs> Not really. Next to me is my beautiful wife Elva. And each week we uh, she's allowed me to be part of what she does into Mexico and Latin America uh, each Saturday night on her Facebook page and it's been really powerful what we've been doing and um, sharing on kingdom and, and also about what we just talked about the roar but uh, this past uh, Saturday night uh, she just wow it was just a powerful word and so um, we just got to hear it because we need to change in this day we are in things that used to work we just need to adapt and change but the kingdom is the same and the throne is the same. Blessings. So, Elva? I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. Go, <laughs> go for it. Thank you, Jesus. Blessings. God bless you, everyone. And thank you um, for being here tonight. And I know tomorrow it's holiday. It's Thanksgiving Day and many people are getting ready. But many of you will watch this video later i'm praying that god will reach every heart that this message is intended to for these times the increase of our capacity the capacity to receive all what god has for this for these times the outpouring of his spirit and all the new wine and the new things and i'm just gonna pray and ask god to guide and lead this word in the name of jesus that I'll be just a vessel, but it will be his words, what he wants to say, his message. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for this night, God. There is power in the name of Jesus, Lord. We worship you and thank you and bless you, God. Thank you, Lord. You are King and you are Lord, God. And you rejoice with your children. And you love your children, God. And you love us all, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I speak the power of your love, Father, flowing through this message, Lord, in the name of Jesus. There is power in you to awakening us, awaken us, Lord. To these times, Jesus, there is power in the name of Jesus. Life of the Spirit and resurrection power. Life of the Spirit and resurrection power, Lord. Thank you for your grace. Open the ears of our understanding, Lord. In the name of Jesus, there is power in your name. Get us ready for these times, Lord. Get us ready for these times. We worship you, Father. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Father, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I hear the Spirit saying that this is a time where many people have been uh, um, quiet, have been silenced, and their voices have not been heard. But the Lord says, this is your time. This is a time where my people will release in different ways in in the, that particular way that he made you and in that anointing that he gave you it's just gonna come the sound of of uh, uh, your sound the the sound of your anointing is needed in this in these days there is power in your name father i just release release my brothers and sisters god your bride jesus christ father all of us to be what you called us to be Lord Jesus there is power in the name of Jesus and I am seeing an image and and a friend was talking to me about a plan that she has 
and 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 I just see the image now, and I want to share with you. And she saw uh, um, a plant that she had in a in a pot, but she knew uh, as she went to to research about it, she knew that that plant can grow so big, so so high, and so tall, and 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 but it needed to to be expanded in a, in a different place into a uh, um, replaced into a position where the expansion can give get, can can take place where it can give room for the increase there is power in the name of Jesus life of the spirit and resurrection power I just see the, the bride I just see the church I just see these times the glorious times for his people thank you Lord Jesus thank you thank you Lord there is power in your name the Lord was speaking to me he's been speaking to me like in a, for a couple of weeks now about the old wine skins and the new wine skins that the increase of our capacity and, and and the Lord is saying, uh, as the old wine skins don't have doesn't have the capacity to to um, to receive the wine, the new wine because it's rigid, because it's hard, and 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 when the the new wine gets in there with the pressure, uh, with the gases and the bubbles and all this, as as the wine gets fermented. Um, it doesn't it, it doesn't it can contain the pressure and it breaks and so the Lord is what he's saying is I am pouring out my spirit and you're gonna see amazing things new things things that I have not seen and ears have not heard in these times we're gonna see amazing things happening but we have to be ready for the increase because um, because of what the anointing and, and the empowerment and the love and everything that God is, is is preparing to do to bring the great harvest, we need space, we need room, we need flexibility. There are going to be so many things that that to our eyes are going to look like new, to our ears are going to be heard like what I don't understand this, but but the Lord. The Lord is, is, is making that those new wine skins. He's making and giving us a new heart and, 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 and increase the power of understanding and the revelation of his mysteries. There is power in the name of Jesus. When he left, when, when Jesus walked on the earth, he said there, is, there would not be room. To, for us to write everything that Jesus did and he said you don't have the capacity right now to receive all the revelation that I want to give you but 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 he left the Holy Spirit so we have the Holy Spirit we have the new wine and in, in, in this outpouring we're gonna see the mysteries and and, and, and all the things that are in in his word we're gonna be receiving more and more there is power in the name of Jesus father we bless Bless you and we thank you Lord and and a person that the Lord has been talking about uh, uh, to me like um, it's Jonah a person in the Bible Jonah and he's in his uh, I can see there the process of the cross I can see there uh, Jesus Christ in our need to, to die to ourselves in our own ways as those old wine skins and be transformed to the new and and as I was reading the book of Jonah uh, uh, oh, so many things the Lord started speaking that took me to my knees to repent and to say God help us help us with these attitudes so we're gonna I'm gonna just um, mention a few things about the book of Jonah but we know that that Jonah um, it says in chapter 1 verse 1 uh, the Lord gave this message to Jonah son of Amittai get up and go to the great city of Nineveh announce my judgment against it because I have seen how wicked its people are so Jonah receives this call from the Lord, this assignment to send, to go and deliver a message of a judgment to a very, very wicked uh, place, a very, very wicked city. And 
And he refuses to do that. He refuses for some reason. He's uh, probably he was saying, I'm not ready. I don't know uh, about this. Um, these people, they don't, they don't really deserve a, a, another opportunity. Just go ahead and destroy them. I don't know what came into his mind, but he just ran away to the opposite direction from God's call. And as he, as we know the story, so um, as we know that this, uh, the Lord sent this storm, and, and on the boat that he that he went on, uh, going to Tarshish. The, like the opposite way and 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 the sailors and the people there when they saw this storm they started crying out to their gods to their idols it was a chaos in that on that boat and 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 they were just didn't know what was happening who was responsible for this chaos and suddenly they realized and and, and Jonah told them that he was running away from his God and, and on all this time where they were they, they were throwing things out of the boat and this chaos was happening Jonah was sleeping so this is just a call a call from the Lord to us his holy nation to awaken to awaken and to see and and say God have we been running away from you the true call that you have for us in our lives have we ad ad adapted uh, uh, or adopted ways and things and ministries and uh, of others and and just learn things by tradition or, or or our set ways that we think this should be like this and we're really going to the opposite direction and then the world is in chaos and 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 Jonah had to say I am responsible I am responsible if we if we don't realize that if a person does not realize that he is sick he will not go and get healed the first thing to be able to get healed is to know I am sick so he he knew I I need I need a change I need I need to get into my right place. I need to hear the voice of God and obey the voice of God. I, I need to align with his purposes. I should not be going in another direction. So he took responsibility. And this is sometimes so hard. And I'm speaking like in my own heart, my own life, it's sometimes so hard. I want to blame everybody else, everything else. And and point fingers to all the systems and everything and everybody it's at fault and not realizing what about me have I seen am I taking my position am I awakened to to take authority to take the government that God has given us to bring the kingdom the kingdom of God is not chaos the kingdom of God is it's just it's righteousness peace and joy in the spirit so if we haven't seen the kingdom of god is not the responsibility or the over their people's fault but we have to look and say god here i am change me take me to the cross take me to the point of the point of death to myself to my own ways to my set and uh, uh, rigid ways lord change my heart there is power in the name of Jesus. I'm just speaking, Lord, that you will change our, our perspective tonight, that something will break and something will happen, God, because we need we need each other. We need the body of Christ to arise and take responsibility and, and establish the kingdom of God in, uh, on the earth as it is in the heavens. So as they were... were, were um, um, Jonah in verse 10 he, he says um, I mean in verse 11 he, he actually says I know that this terrible st storm is all my fault in a so he said throw me out you know throw me away from 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 the boat throw me into the waters so I, I see this as that point of the cross I see that point of death to self death to our own ways death to our own thinking death to our own, uh, uh, own self-righteousness and say God I want to go before the cross 
I want to go there and say, Jesus, crucify me together with you. Crucify my old ways, God. It doesn't matter how right they seem, how well they've worked in the past. Uh, it doesn't matter how wealthy they, uh, these ways have made me or not. It doesn't matter. What it matters, Lord, is to say, I am laying down my life. I am going to the cross. I am be I want to be crucified together with you. Every part of my being, every way that is not yours, and be ready to die. Be ready to take our cross and follow Jesus Christ in a real true way. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. He is the truth. Our there is no our truth there is no our truth there is one truth and the truth is a person and that person is Jesus Christ and it's his ways and it's everything from Genesis to to Revelation it's it reveals every piece of the tabernacle every piece of everything speaks of Jesus Christ it speaks of what he is doing in in his kingdom there is power in the name of Jesus. There is no room for our opinions of what is right or what's wrong. It is time to repent. And 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 Jonah, as he as he fell fell in the waters and this and was in in the belly of this big fish, and for three days and three nights he was there, uh, um, and he fell that death. He fell that death. He he. he he um he wrote a prayer and saying i just i encountered death face to face god and 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 i could not feel your presence it's like as what well, i don't know it was so horrible for him he cried out to god and he cried out and asked for forgiveness and he made vows to the lord saying no my ways god but your ways and he was real and he was truth in his heart and and and, and he repented and and the and the and this fish uh just um uh uh put him back into uh, on on dry land and 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 he was there and he got up and he said now lord i will obey you i'll go back to my position i will take back the kingdom the place that you 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 gave me as an inheritance this land to establish your kingdom lord to glorify your name forgive me for being so coward forgive me for for the fears forgive me for the my rebellion heart forgive me lord change me and as he went with that message to Nineveh the, the very wicked city everyone from the oldest to the youngest the king and everyone repented because the sound the sound of his heart the sound of his spirit it wasn't a message that he that he heard from somewhere someone else it wasn't just words that he heard from God it was something that processed him in the midst of his mess in the midst of his chaos in the midst of every every shortcoming that he had in that the heavens were designing a message were designing a, a way out for people that were destined to death there is power in the name of Jesus there is power in his name in his blood in his message in his resurrection power God we bless you Lord we thank you God so Jonah goes and 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 he and and he he could not uh, in his mind, this is when where I see again that 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 old wine skin, that hardness of heart. That's what I, and I'm seeing it. Not to not to criticize Jonah, but to see if I am not. I, I mean, if it's part of that inside of me too. If there is anything, God, that we don't see, he he really felt so right when he got mad at God and we and and we've done that I've done that I've, I've been mad at God sometimes and 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 in his graciousness and his patient he, he has to take me to these processes to open my eyes and see him and understand his ways that are higher than my ways 
there is power in the name of Jesus. I'm calling, Lord, for, for a spirit of humility in, all, in your bride, in your children, in all of us, God, to break the pride, Jesus, the spiritual pride, to break anything that we can have inside of us, God, that doesn't look like you, that is not you, Jesus Christ. We want to be dead so that you can live through us and you manifest your glory. The creation is crying out to for the manifestations of the sons and daughters. There is power in the name of Jesus. So, Jonah, uh, uh, in, in, um, in verse 10 of chapter 2, it says, When God saw what they have done, that everyone repented, everyone uh, uh, were fasting and praying, and, and the children and even the animals, everyone, it says, um, and how they, they had put a stop to their evil ways, they turned away from their evil ways, he changed his mind and did not carry out the destructions, the destruction that, that, was, uh, uh, that they were advised that was going to happen to them. That in 40 days, Nineveh was going to be destroyed. But Jonah, this is the thing. And this, this is the thing that, that, uh, that I, I'm crying out to the Lord. It says, um, okay, all right. So, so Jonah... Uh, it gets angry, you know, at, at the change of plans in, ver in chapter 4, chapter 4, verse, um, chapter, f I, something is, I don't know if it's in here, the sound, okay, okay, so uh, chapter 4, verse 1, it says, um, this change of plans greatly upset Jonah, and he, became very angry and he complained to the Lord about it. it, it, it it's and, and, and that is that being so rigid, so hard in our ways, in what we think it should happen and how it should happen. And we just, we, the Lord is just saying, come to me and leave that all to me. I am in control. I know what I'm doing. Nothing takes me by surprise. He is in control. He has everything in his hands. And as as um and and, and also Jonah he was saying I knew you were so uh, so merciful and, and compassionate and, and I knew why did you send me there to tell them that in 40 days their city was going to be destroyed and and, and then in verse 3 of chapter 4 he says just kill me now just kill me now Lord I rather be dead than alive if what I predicted will not happen I rather be dead than alive if what I had predicted will not happen and we see another thing when, when I saw this I was like Lord help us and forgive us forgive us when we have made our identity, our call, our identity. When he have, we have made an assignment, our identity. That is not, that, that, that is not the heart of God. That is not the heart of God. It's not our message. It is not our prophetic word. It is not about being the prophet of the day. It is not about how... Uh, it's, it's not about that. It's just about getting closer to the Lord, closer to the Lord, obeying Him. Whether that word happens the way you w thought it was going to happen or not, it doesn't matter. That we are ready to receive the pressure of following Jesus and being His voice. That we can sustain that pressure. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Can you hear me? Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Something is, is wrong with my, uh, my mic. So, um, so 
and 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 so it is it is not about our message it is not about our prophetic words it is about him it is about his graciousness his love and mercy it is about him working in the hearts of people and it is about us just obeying him just doing what he tells us to do tell saying what he tells us to say not adding not changing not having wrong attitudes it would i don't know what jonah thought it was going to happen but i think i know <laughs> i think i know i think he was he was thinking this city is so wicked that probably a few of them a remnant will hear and repent the message and repent and then they were going to be the witnesses that my word was right they were going they're going to witness how this city is going to be destroyed and all the wicked people are going to get destroyed and 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 all the good people are going to watch it you know and 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 then they're going to say wow Jonah you were right you know and 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 his whole thing his whole anger about the situation where nothing he said that the bible says that he got like went to sit under this plant uh, outside the city like an spectator waiting to see what was going to happen because he already told god or you destroy them because because that's what i spoke in my word in 40 days you destroy them and kill them or you kill me i'd rather be dead than 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 um than a life if you're not going to to do uh, what i predicted what you told me to say you know and and so the pride and 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 now i i mean it's just like lord help us deliver us from the pride deliver us from from uh, from our set ways and and how we look and how they're going to think about us and in the fear of man and and and, and pleasing man father that liver us lord there is power there is something higher there is something higher than our own calls there is something higher there is power in the name of jesus is the heart of god and that's what he, what he wants to give us in order to pour, to give all those manifestations of powers all those amazing resurrect uh, words that were going to bring resurrection power that going to bring the death to life the, the the captive set being set free it's his grace it's his love and so jonah uh um he 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 was sitting there and 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 in this attitude the liver of god but it was like I am righteous. I have I learned to obey God. I deliver the message. I'm not being as wicked as those people um are. Yes. And and this is something sometimes when we have our op- opinions of what is right or wrong, what's morally right or wrong. And and because we are seeing others that are worse than us, we become self-righteous and we say, "Well, at least I'm not as bad as them." and 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 we are as bad and we, and we deserve the same thing because it, probably their sins are more outside and you can see them but what about the arrogance what about that pride that nobody can see but it's very sometimes we don't even see it but it goes very deep especially where God is revealing things to us uh where, and 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 using our lives for for awesome things and 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 to reach many people father there is power in your name lord open our eyes to see and our ears to hear lord jesus we bless you and we thank you lord and as jonah was there praising you know and th- very very happy all under that awesome uh, plan that was so uh, uh, big and, and and the shade was so amazing and 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 feeling i am under the favor of god i am under the uh, you know his wings and 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 suddenly what happened was the unexpected these people in nineveh they got forgiven they they didn't get their city didn't was not destroyed 
they didn't get that uh, um, punishment because there was a way, the way of repentance. There was life. Life came to them. But to Jonah, the only thing that he had left in the, under the sun, the heat of the sun, the sun, died. That what was a blessing, it was dead suddenly. That what was once gave him shelter, it was dead. And I know in this year 2020, many things that were our pride are gone. Many, many situations are like, what's going on, God? I don't understand what is happening. But that what the Lord is doing, starting to he, in His house, with His own people, with His messengers, with those, the, the chosen ones, the chosen generation, He's taking us to a place of the cross, an encounter, to die to ourselves, and to say, God, deliver me from this self-righteousness. Deliver me from this hard-hearted God. There is power in the name of Jesus. The Lord, Korea, Haya, there is power in your name. There is power in your name, Lord. We thank you and we bless you, Father. We thank you and we bless you, Jesus. There is power in your name. And the Lord gave Jonah an understanding. And he said, Jonah, you are angry. Because this plant that was giving you covering and shelter is gone. And what about all these people, these thousands of people in this place, and including animals? What about them? I created them. You didn't do anything to make this plant grow. I did it. But I also made this all these people that they live in a spiritual darkness. They cannot discern between their right and their and left. They 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 need me. And and if they cry out to me, if they heard my message, the only thing I can do is to save them, is to bless them. I don't want anyone to perish. So I believe that the Lord is saying to our hearts, do not be so caught up with judgments and things, that the bad things. We do not need to know. It's in the Bible. We do need to know about it. We do not to understand how sick our nation is how sick the church is how sleepy we sh we should we need to know that sin leads to death we need to know that we need to know the law we need to know what is written in the word we need to know the truth Romans says Paul says in Romans I only know that co coveting something is a sin because the Bible says it, because the law says it. That's how I know I am sick. That's how I know I, do, I, I need to get rid of that. That is the mirror that helps us. But that's not where our eyes need to be set on. Our eyes need to, set, be to, need to be set on Jesus, on Him. He is the one that can change us, transform our hearts, that can give us His heart, the heart of the Father, to go and speak life and resurrection power to a lost world. To see the children, to see the young people, not as this a rebellious generation and oh they're so hardened and they're so rebellious something went wrong with them and all the wrong things the millennials and all that it's not about that it's about seeing 
what God created before the creation of the world what he created Ephesians 1 says that he chose us and predestined us made a plan a plan for us even before the fall of man even before the fall of Satan even before anything he had a plan and he knew you and he knew everyone and since that time he made this beautiful wonderful plan would he want it to be destroyed just because the enemy is been blinding us he doesn't want the destruction he wants resurrection he wants healing he wants deliverance for all he wants salvation he wants to bless us he wants to give us the kingdom he wants to give us give us the power and authority over every power of darkness every principality to establish a kingdom of justice and righteousness and peace and joy in the spirit there is power in your name we worship you lord and we bless you we honor you lord we worship you father i speak life i speak life koria bahaya bayare de gente de rey koria bandish kingdom in Ezekiel, um, yes, Ezekiel 3, Ezekiel 3, the Lord say, tells Ezekiel, Ezekiel, son of man, eat what I am giving you, eat this scroll, then go and give its message to the people of Israel. And, 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 and the Lord tells him, many people are not going to hear you, they're going to harden their hearts. They're going to be set on their own ways. They're not going to realize that I'm doing new things. That I am releasing new... Uh, I'm opening revelation and the mysteries. That everybody is part of the body and it's different. And, and the sound of Jonah was the sound of repentance. And it's a needed sound today. But together with the sound of compassion and love. And, and the sound of David was the sound of worship. A sound of, of awe of God. A sound of a warrior. He speaks about shouting. He speaks about shouting to God. He speaks about uh, uh, that God. The Lord inhabits in the praises of his people. That's his sound. There, behind the sound of David was a, a, a story. It was his pain, his life, his struggles. The forgiveness he received from God. The opportunities God gave him. The kingdom, the anointing to be king. To be a priest. Inside of us, there is a sound. There is a message that needs to be released. As we, when we gather in 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 in, in worship, I I hear some people shouting unto the Lord, and the anointing. It's so amazing because it's so different from another people's anointing. Or when a person is doing their flags, I see the, the, the anointing that comes in, those, in that movement, the power. I know behind that anointing, it's a history. It's, it's a person praying, crying out for their children. It's a person crying out for healing. He's seeing the hand of God in their lives. He's seeing the miracles of God in their families. It's a thanks, it's a, a heart of thanksgiving. And this sound goes on and on to the nations and every nation. And when we gather together 
in many nations as one holy nation with different sounds that are inside of us people from Africa I don't know their sound their instruments they have a, a beautiful sound they have a unique sound people from Taiwan their prayers their their praises their shouts their shofars they bring a different sound everyone together and it's a sound that God receives as an offering and it's a sound that he loves because he saw it before the creation of the world he saw us together worshiping before his throne of every nation of every tribe as one in the spirit of love not to not to celebrate that we are holy and those are gonna die over there because they're, they're sinners but a sound that says God bring healing to the nations bring healing to the nations bring resurrection power give us the messages in our hearts like Jonah like Ezekiel in verse 10 it says then the Lord added in Ezekiel 3:10, son of man let all my words sink deep into your own heart sink deep into your own heart Ask Jonah if he had, if the words sink deep. He was very deep under the ocean. He knew what what that word meant, what when, what he was speaking about a God that loves righteousness. He knew that sound. He knew that he had that message, and when he released it, it brought repentance and fear of God. That. A godly sorrow that led to repentance not a condemning sound although he in himself needed some processes there to be changed inside of him but that's what the Lord tells us all be careful of what of, of what is inside of you so that you don't save many and you lose your own self it's a it's it's it's, a, it's it's an intimacy with god it's a dying daily he's saying god keep my heart pure before you keep my testimony pure keep keep the words that i speak truth and pure let those words sink in very deep inside of me so that i can arise with a sound whether it of, of, an, of an instrument, whether of a message, whether of a prophetic painting, whether of a book you write, it doesn't matter. Flags, dancers, it's all one sound of one holy nation. It's one spirit, one mind, one faith. There is power in the name of Jesus. Yes. There is power in the name of Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We bless you, God. We thank you, Jesus. Thank we bless you, your holy name, Lord. <laughs> we bless your holy name, Lord. Thank you, Elder. This is, this is a treat. Jonah had to have some type of mindset change, didn't he? Yep. God loved them enough to have them thrown overboard and put into the belly of you. you know, I know the scripture says big fish. Some of us say whale. Mm -hmm. Amazing stuff that we had to do that he'll do for us. But he is. For many of us, we see, we see evil and shadows of evil more than we see the opportunity in front of us to come before and allow change to take place remember if my people who are called by name shall humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways I will hear from heaven this is conditional if we keep focusing in on what <laughs> fake news is saying and and worried and worried about this and turning the corner and this and the, where are we living in joy and overcoming yes we pay attention to those things but we have to pay attention to that which has been truth since the beginning of time, the word. But if we turn, things will change. The, <laughs> some of our wicked ways 
are not just the obvious adulteries and things like that. Some of the wicked ways is having our own thoughts, our own self-pride or self-righteous that raises itself up against the knowledge of God. Because when it does that, we can't hear from heaven and then to take those steps. So the Lord will throw us into the belly of a whale because he loves us. But we don't have to. We can just say, Lord, I'm ready to change because I see the times. I know the Amen. times. Amen. I know the times. The first beatitude says this. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And you wonder, oh, well, the kingdom of heaven, you have to be poor. No, no, poor in spirit. And when you look up at the word poor and, and dig into it, the word poor also has a meaning in the Greek of panes. It's a word, it's part of the derivatives that comes up with poor. Yes, it indicates those that are without, but panes also means one that has to toil for daily substance. They're starving, maybe in indigent, but they have to toil for daily substance. So those, <laughs> if I was to put that phrase in there, blessed are those that toil for daily substance in their spirit for me, for theirs is the kingdom of God. We have to have that type of hunger now and that type of thing that we must be able to move forward because the days, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 14, it says, awake, you who sleep, Christ will give you light. It means those that have been asleep, close their eyes. Those who think they've been awake and they haven't been. Redeeming the times for the days are evil. It's time to humble. And I just say this to you, that it is really an amazing thing that is taking place right now. Never before has the word been more relevant than it is today. We are in biblical times. So I say in this eve of Thanksgiving that I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for my wife. Yeah. I'm grateful for so many things. He has sustained us. And I'm grateful for the time we are in because these are the days we knew had to come. And I'm glad that it isn't that glorious chariot ride in the sky and floating in clouds away from it all, that we are actually going through it right now. That means we're a victorious people. That means we're carrying out the word and the prayer that Jesus prayed in John 17, Lord, that you wouldn't take them out of the world, but that we would be, that you would be with them and as I am with them. And Lord, it is so true. Look at that up in John 17. So we just say to you, just one more quick blessing for you. Oh, I can, can I, I just remember, sorry, can I say something? Uh, I just remember. Sure. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Never <just> say no. <laughs> <laughs> and I just, I just remember when you said about uh, that we should not be just focusing on the, um, on the dark shadows. Well, last night I had a, a quick dream. You had a quick dream. Yeah, quick dream. I mean, it was a very quick. I mean, it was weird, but uh, do, you want, do you want quick dream? Do you want quick dream music? <laughs> quick dream music. <laughs> Here's dream. quick dream music. Dream music. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, but in this dream, I I I saw. Um, I was looking. I was walking uh, with this. I mean, I was walking and I was seeing these people becoming horrible monsters you know like they they were like very crazy like uh demonic something monsters i mean you know every uh, this oh, i was looking at these people becoming like that so i i started getting like kind of uh, afraid about and, and scared about it and 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 so there was a person next to me walking and i and i was telling that person oh did you see what's happening and 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 then I said, "What if he's one of them?" You know, and 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 I was trying to see if I can, if, if, you know, if discern if he was there was anything like that wasn't right. 
uh, and yeah, it, 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 he was one of them, you know. And, and in my dream, I was like, oh, uh oh. Um, but the amazing thing was, my when I changed my perspective, and instead of looking at them, I I looked inside and I say, if they if they can become so evil and so big and so horrible, what? how do my spirit look like who I am inside of me so I just I just looked at, 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 at my in, in, inside of me and and I said I have Jesus and he is the greatest and more terrifying and more big and I mean the biggest thing ever that any demon or anything will run you know away from him so I just allowed that to arise in me and and it did it scared everybody it just went like woo and I went like oh thank you Lord so so I, I believe that as Ken was saying as we change our perspective and see Jesus who he is inside of us who he is and 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 what who we are in him and, and, and the power and the authority as we awaken to this but in that place where the Lord told his disciples stay with me don't go to sleep stay with me these times are difficult this there is chaos coming and whatever but as you stay closer in me and and in that place you know the wine skin the the, the 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 parable that the, Jesus spoke and, and told about the wine skins, it was about fasting. It was about praying and people asking him, why does why do you, does your dis, do the disciples they don't they don't um, fast? And, and and he said because the, the the bridegroom is with them, so they have everything. You know, as I, I, I am here with them, they don't you know they don't need to fast. Uh, but what, when the bridegroom it's going to be taken away you know he went with the father to sit at his right hand and he said but I'm, I'm leaving my spirit I'm bringing my spirit the spirit of God is coming instead you know and, and, and it's, and it's going to be even better for you the Lord said you know so so in that in, 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 in those days he said then you will fast so as we come and, and seek him with all our hearts and walk in him and die into our own selves but allowing him to live through our lives there is nothing impossible there is no fear of anything they will fear us they will fear this holy nation this chosen generation bless you thank you baby <laughs> Oh, mm -hmm. My, you can tell around here there's a lot to say. Yeah. Allow the mindsets to change. He's moving. Trust him as we move forward. And I know this. Our friend, uh, I saw a comment here from our friend Colleen Wheeler in South Carolina, and she's also been in Psalm 68. Um, that's a powerful one. Let God arise when God let when uh, and let His enemies be scattered. It also says in Isaiah 60, "Arise, shine, for thy light has come." And I just keep singing that over and over. So we sing that on this Thanksgiving Eve, and it's not we are thankful in the in the kingdom in the holy nation. We are thankful no matter what nation, no matter what land we live in, or what tribe we're from. We're the holy nation. You are a chosen generation. You are a royal priesthood. You're peculiar people. You're a holy nation set apart to show forth the praises of him who's called you out of darkness into this marvelous light. It's not the first time that was promised. Even in Exodus, as we mentioned before, he told to Moses that he would have a kingdom of priests. And he's not only made us priests, but he's made us kings and priests unto our God. And a holy nation, he told Moses that. A kingdom of priests, a holy nation. This is our inheritance, an eternal inheritance. So, 
blessings to you. So rise, shine, for thy light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Rise, shine, for thy light has come. The glory of the Lord has risen upon you. The darkness has covered the earth, still the Lord will rise. The kings will come to the rising of your brightness. So the dream Elva was sharing. Let it rise out of you. These are the days that we will see the greatest works of the Lord. Oh yes, many are proclaiming an abundance of rain and the sound of the trumpets is sounding. So arise, for the, that who is rising up is he who dwells in you, the kingdom that dwells in you. We say arise. Arise. Blessings. Blessings. We'll see you sometime in the next week, I'm sure. And do not forget December 4th. Amen. And just in case, let me play you a reminder. Hallelujah. This uh, little video clip, it's on our the webpage below. Once you, it's posted here on our Facebook page. Just go and share it and invite people. Lift up their sound because everybody's sound is so important. The glory that's in them to be released. Because let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Thank you, Colleen, for that reminder of Psalm 68, verse 1. Blessings to you. Blessings.